All right guys, welcome to Bear Camp 2018. We just got the jumping jack set up. It went smooth, popped up easy. This is a 12 footer that Casey got. Dude, let's just go make a little comparison. Can I tell them the story real quick about the jumping jack, me and you? Story time. Okay, Eric has used the jumping jacks for quite a long time, right? Yeah, years. We were gonna go to New Mexico three years ago and we were gonna be down there for like three weeks. And I was planning on just taking a nice tent, doing a nice little tent camp. Eric said, hey man, we can take my jumping jack. And I was like, oh man, that's a trailer. It's extra wheels you have to worry about, an extra axle you have to worry about. And he's like, dude, you'll like it, I promise. I'm like, it's just a tent on wheels. Anyway, he finally convinced me to take it. We took it and I've been a jumping jack believer ever since. It is a trail, it is basically a wall tent on a trailer. You can haul stuff on top. Uh, it's just super roomy, comfortable. You're off the ground. There's no the cots room. needed is what's great. So Stable. much room. room. And here's another big thing. Got here at the same time, right? Jumping jack erected. We're getting our hunting stuff on. They're still trying to build a frame, I think, over there. I need the red pole. Took one person to put this together. One person, two minutes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then they have to have a camera guy to film it. Who's got the So blueprints? they remember how to do it next time. Where's the blueprints for this, this program? Who's gonna do it? Oh, that's the short one. You need a longer one for sure on that corner. <laughs> we, we, we have to poke fun at Born and Raised for every once in a while. Well, every chance we get, actually. Anyway, I love the jumping jack. We big believers in it. It's comfortable. We haul our Yetis on top, which is great. We are always overpacking. So to have a place to put all our extra crap is great. Anyway, we're going to get ready to go hunt while those guys figure out how to erect their tent. Oh. How you feeling, oh. Ray? Yeah, that's a sexy guy. New boots? Sassy time? Yeah, these are the Thors. Eric and I were at Crispy a couple days ago trying on a bunch of different boots. These have the flex rating of a four, so they're a little stiffer, but they're still really comfortable. So we both said we're gonna try these out. These ones are the black and orange ones. They also have like a olive, more subtle color, I guess you could say. But we figured, uh, what the heck? Try a little black and orange. This is the, uh, the 65 millimeter. I like this guy, it's a little lighter. Um, Brian's got the bigger one. But uh, no, this is a good one. For hiking around these steep mountains, every ounce counts, okay guys? From my experience in the backcountry, you wanna shed ounces, okay? You wanna weigh your stuff out before you go. Right? So apparently Logan forgot his sleeping bag, but the good news is I have two sleeping bags in my canvas cutter. Don't even tell him. Don't I know. Tell him Don't tell us how we're gonna let him. We're gonna let him sit on it all evening. Guys, if you haven't noticed, and you watch any of our fishing series in Oregon, Logan equals liability to a degree. <laughs> lost a rod. Lost a camera. Forgets things like his sleeping bag. <laughs> kind of clutch. He, so I'm usually that guy, but now it's nice to know that in camp, Logan is worse <laughs> than me. So anyways, we're uh, gonna get ready. Try to go glass, right? I think so, yeah. B-Max getting ready. I'm gonna get ready. Taking the new crispy boots out for the first time. These are the Thor. Sure me and like B-Max went got those out. Those are sharp. About as sharp as your sunglasses. Maybe I should be wearing those sunglasses. Because then you could be like Saudi. <laughs> These are the Thor and those are the Summit GTX that we picked up from Casey. So yeah, we're going straight out of the box to the mountain tonight. It's always, uh, we always say, or I said this many times, every pair of crispy boots I've ever owned, I've literally got them the day before or the day of a hunt. And uh, we put them on and go out. Never had pro problems. These are different. I've never worn these, so we'll see. Yeah, so I ran those boots last year. I'm using the Thor for these early season hunts. What you got? I'm fused out, dude. Show us your cowboy boots. You want to see the outside? No, these, are the, these are the hiking walkers. Is that where you're going to walk in? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And this is what you're going to sleep in. Yeah. <laughs> you have a pretty nice pillow, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's the first evening we've been out glassing for the last five or ten minutes. We just stopped the truck on this old road, which this road eventually goes to a closed gate, and we might work our way down there and just glass in, in like every, I don't know, 100 or 200 yards. But there's a huge burn in this canyon. It's old, and the undergrowth is really tall, so I think seeing a bear isn't going to be as easy as you think being out in the wide open, but 
we've glassed up two white-tailed deer, which is pretty cool. I saw a really cool buck and a doe, and I got some video with the phone scope through the vortex spotting scope, which is pretty neat. It's like perfect lighting right now. The temperature is great, and we're just kind of glassing for bears. Everyone at camp split up and went in a different way. Let me see if we can turn something up, but I've never specifically gone out to glass for bears. I have seen bears while glassing, but not the goal being to find a bear. So this is uh, pretty fun. It's pretty wild. I think we're already rifle hunting and it's June. We all have hunter orange on. It just doesn't feel right. <laughs> I just wanted to stop the video right there and uh, just let you guys know that we're, we always are 100% honest with you. And so I'm gonna call Eric out and let you know that's a fib. We have been out specifically looking for bears one time. Well, Brian had the tag and went to Idaho three years ago. So let's carry on now. No more fibs. He, he's right. That's true. I'm really starting to question my memory. <laughs> like, this isn't the first time either. <laughs> we did go to Idaho specifically and glass for bears. We did glass a bear. I specifically remember now filming the bear through the scope. It was right by an elk. Yeah, I'm losing my mind here. Well, we pulled into camp a little late tonight. We got it set up and had just enough time to go glass. Our truck glassed zero bears. Probably five or six bear stumps though. That looked pretty pretty good until we got the spotting scope on them. So we just got back to camp. They already got a fire built. And I'm excited to hear because I will, I would think that somebody saw a bear tonight. Hopefully somebody. So we'll have to see when they all get back. We're just gonna sit around the campfire and cook some salmon. Um, I'm pretty stoked that I just found Buttermilk Ranch from Carl's Jr. on the ground, <laughs> unopened. <laughs> That's a sign. It's <laughs> a good fire we got here. Yeah. Right? Steve does not mess nice. around with the fire. Did you hike up over there? Yeah. <laughs> what did you see? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, tracks, not too bad though. Nah, it's kind of hard to see back in on this side. So. What do you got going? We got some, uh, they to me look like little heads of lettuce, but Eric says they're uh, Brussels sprouts. We got um, blacktail salami deer. Yeah, where'd this come from? With cheese. A dude from uh, Oregon gave it to Brian at one of those live podcast no. things. Uh -oh. No, we can't waste it. <laughs> Ooh, crunchy. Okay, okay so a funny story is we're digging around and it's kind of dark. You don't really have much light, and we got out this stuff. Balsamic. We thought it was uh, olive oil. Olive oil, and Logan started dumping it in there, and he's like, "Wait a sec, that's not oil because oh. it's really dark." But honestly, that had a little bit on that piece. Good. Really uh, good. Yeah, I good. love that stuff on veggies. We're just gonna do a medley of food. We brought a bunch of uh, wild game, like we always do. We brought some uh, Axis deer from Texas. Here, let me give myself a little light. And then, yeah, we got just a bunch of like Colorado mule deer, some Roosevelt elk. So we'll be eating good like we usually do, but we're trying to keep it clean, keep it healthy. Should we add peppers? Yeah, let's throw some peppers in there. You guys know what I say. Well, if you've watched our cooking videos, the more color, the more flavor. I like it. Diced peppers. This is lazy man style. Bought at the grocery store. No, I prepackaged all those. You got yeah. these little containers off Amazon. This is the satisfying thing here is watching for me and Eric. I'm missing all that stuff. So <laughs> Dude, these guys are looking like a flip. Trent, yeah, what do you, what do you think about what we got going over here? Well, it looks awful green to me. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm on the. I'm. I'm in a ketogenic state right now, and I can't answer that. I cannot answer that. So, that's what I think. The sausage was a big hit. Sausage is. A, yeah, well, that was a big hit. We. Uh, I think pretty much everybody got to at least taste it. You ready? 